welcome back guys, my name is Ali and welcome to another part of the awesome Dare Reza or Dare Reza um, Pistol and Knife Only series. There's only going to be a few more episodes where this isn't live, no it's going to come cut back into live commentary. Um, if you uh, are unsure why it isn't live, please check out the first part if you haven't done so already. Um, but uh, what we're doing here, this is the tough part where I still only have my normal pathetic knife. And um, luckily I have the backup of um, Juggernaut, which means I can go in uh, go in for a few knives and take up to six hits, six, five or six hits, and no, it's not, not a problem at all. Um, so I'm basically just doing loops around the map and trying to pick them off in small groups, because when they're in big groups, they just come, give me a massive bear hug, and I get hit down to the floor and it's all over. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even have a quick revive at this point, because it's still behind, behind me, behind the door. Um, so I, my channel is basically based around, of course, uh, lots of zombies gameplay, um, uh, map pack gameplay as soon as it comes out, you know, bring you the latest news and the latest gameplay, and Modern Warfare 3. So when Modern Warfare 3 comes out, you've seen my live Modern Warfare 2 commentaries, you really enjoy them, which is awesome, I'm so glad that's the case, um, because I know Modern Warfare 3 is very similar to Modern Warfare 2, but this isn't the place where I'm going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 a lot, these are my zombies videos, um, but um, the sort of zombies and Modern Warfare 3, but what I want to know from you guys, the zombie guys that watch my videos, um, uh, you may m watch both of them, which is fantastic, but um, do you want me to um, continue Zombies once Modern Warfare 3 is out? What I may do is sort of a test run, a zombie series once, once Modern Warfare 3 is out, and see if you guys are still interested, but I think the likelihood is um, Zombies is fantastic, but you know, it's been almost a year now, and people have enjoyed Zombies, it's had its run, and um, unless there's still some sort of post-release uh, uh, updates and maps for Black Ops, which I don't think they'll be on console, uh, but I don't think that'll happen, almost get caught out by the, by the zombie there. Um, but what I do have the option of doing is um, downloading and buying Black Ops or World at War on PC and then uh, getting the custom maps, which is really, really fun, they're really, really cool. Um, and I can record those for you and actually stream them as well. You know, you don't, it doesn't have to be um, uh, recorded. I can stream them with my new PC, I'm allowed to do that. And I can do that in really high quality um, 720p streaming. Like, it's really, really cool. I tested it out the other day and it went down really, really well. But there'll be more information on that soon. So give me uh, your thoughts, guys, on zombies, what you want to see, if you want to see any more. Um, but there'll also be, you've got to remember Modern Warfare 3, there's going to be Spec Ops in there. There's going to be new private game game lobbies, such as Mike Myers, um, which you haven't heard of them. Basically, um, it's very very much similar to Zombies in the way that uh, there's one person who is knifing only, I believe, and there's one person, and then the rest of the team are just running away on the map. And this is basically, it was a game mode created by fans and done in COD 4, World at War, um, Modern Warfare 2, and... Um, Black Ops where you play with your friends and the one person that's by themselves with a knife, as soon as they knife you, they then come onto your team and then you build up your team and basically it's a bit like an infected, zomb an, an infected zombie and then everyone else you're against. So what I could do is a few of those gameplays as well, that would be really cool because it's very very similar to zombies. Um, now in the gameplay here, there's double tap next to me and I, I, I can't remember if I buy it or not but um, I won't give it away whether on which perks I buy right away but... <laughs> the nuke gets everyone on the map. I can see see the other side of the map there. Um, but what I didn't want to do is waste too much money on Mule Kick. If you're wondering why I haven't bought Mule Kick yet, it's 4,000 points. So it's loads of points, and for solo, it just isn't isn't that useful. Um, and its its effects just aren't really needed by me. So I, I don't I stay away from that. So its its effects just aren't really needed by me. And then, then the dogs come in here, which is uh, awesome. I, I I really like the dogs. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they're really really useful because they get you points, which is super super awesome. And then once you've killed them all off, um, you get max ammo again. And especially uh, shortly when I upgrade my pistol, uh, it's so useful having that. And even now, um, just with the normal unupgraded version, it's it's so useful. And, uh, if, if you want to play this, um, uh, when it comes to the dogs, they're not actually too bad at all. You just want to make sure you've got Juggernog already when they come, and then go in for three knife knife kills or knife hits, and then they're down down already, which is really really cool. Um, so I have played Spec Ops. I'll talk about this a little bit um, and compare it to Zombies. Um, it's is Spec Ops like Zombies? Is it? Is it okay? It's, it's obviously not going to be Zombies, is it? Um, it's very very different. You're not. Uh, shooting or knifing stationary targets with lots of health, you're, you're shooting at people that are also shooting back at you but don't have quite as much health, so it's n it's not the exact same. Will zombie people like it? Will you guys like it? Yes, I'm sure you will. Um, the way that it's played is very similar. 
you have uh, the enemies coming in waves still, which is of course almost identical to zombies. But the fact that it's limited to only two people is a bit of a bummer. Uh, the way that it's been designed for Zero Two, the community manager or creative strategist has explained it's been designed for two players. Hence, that's the only only way you can play it. One or maybe one as one as well. You can play it singular, but one or two is the way it's been designed to be played. And that's a really good nade spot down there, just throwing throwing in that grenade. And I'm, I suddenly realise I'm on round seven. I'm like, die, 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 please. And it just doesn't doesn't get him. Um, but Spec Ops, um, it's super fun. I don't think it'll any be anywhere near as big as Zombies. Um, that's my prediction anyway. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, now here, I'm basically just building up my points. because this, this was one of the maps where you can't really, really build up your points. Especially in Solo. And here I'm like, oh no, my route is cut off. But I let them come forward a little bit. And then um, back, back uh, head up the stairs again. And uh, work my way back towards uh, the box. I do actually go for the box and... Um, the pistols that I can pick up uh, are the CTZ, uh, I'm sure you guys know which one that is. I can get it either singular or dual wielding, and the dual wielding version is super awesome. And that complies with the pistol and knife only rules, which is really, really cool. <laughs> and grenades just really help me out here, especially in the big, big blocks of zombies. And because you, you'll find yourself back into this room a lot, because there isn't really any way of doing loops in this map. Um, it's all sort of heading towards one end and then back again and if you want to do loops you'll find that the zombies can create shortcuts or do shortcuts and the great thing about taking the teleport is that you do get um, you do get um, this bonus at the end and I, I didn't realise when I took the teleporter how much it was I thought it only cost me 20 coins and it cost me one and a half thousand so technically I could have almost been uh, at the barry knife but it didn't matter um, I, I, I took it on the chin and uh, continued um, you want to make sure you're sort of going at these zombies in a casual pace and you, you want to avoid uh, getting hit loads as well and double points really helps me out here getting towards the 3000 points I need for Barry Knife off the wall um, and this room here because I haven't linked up all of the teleporters and I completely forgot where, where the final teleporter was there's just this one area where I just could not find it but um, the good thing I guess about having not having live commentary on that section is the fact that I won't be like where is it where is it I can just talk over it um, as I head, my, head, head towards it but at this point here, I was having an idea of running back towards the teleporter again and doing a loop again, and it struck me, and I realised that last time it cost loads and loads of points, so I get an awesome max ammo here, and I actually decide to um, avoid teleporter and try and weave and dodge in between the zombies here instead. But um, we're coming towards the end of the second part here. Really hope you're enjoying. Um, I, I do apologise again for not having live commentary on this. It's just unfortunate, really. <laughs> this is this was a close call. This is Ali A zombie dodging moves right there. Duck dive, duck dive, get through all of them. <laughs> And if you ever get in, uh, in trouble on this map, the best way is just to try and get through those tiny two double doors and make your way uh, back to the main mode, which is what I was doing here, and line them up. Come on, let's see how many we can line up here. I was just trying to get as many as possible, because each time one of the bullets goes through, it goes through the second one as well, and uh, it does less damage to the second one, but still the same amount of points. It's, it gets a bit technical, a bit mathematical here, but it gets me loads of points, and I almost get stuck on the door there, but luckily... Eh? Luckily I'm pro and I managed to pull out of it. <laughs> but thank you very, very much uh, for watching this other part. Uh, we'll be jumping back into live commentary very, very shortly. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying, please feel free to hit the like and favourite button. It gives me a great idea of how many of you guys are enjoying the series and uh, how many of you guys are getting it from your subscription boxes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I've managed to pick up the awesome Barry Knife here, which then means I can one-hit kill the zombies. I was going to take a teleport again. I was like, no, wait, no, I wasn't. I was checking how much it cost, and it cost a lot. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you, and I will see you on the next part very, very shortly.